poorly advertising every game I've ever played. Okay, Fortnite. Superficial people will make fun of you, but you'll probably have a good time. Paladins. Because Overwatch costs money. Among Us. I played it with my entire German class during a Zoom call back when this game was popular. Unfortunately, though, it's Among Us, so I can't support it. Minecraft. There's an 8.3% chance that you will be interested in this game in any given month. Terraria. It's actually more interesting than Minecraft, but no one cares about that. Fall Guys. If you don't have a mental condition but really want one, then play Fall Guys. Celeste. If you don't have a reason to seek therapy but really want one, play Celeste. Dragonvale. The only mobile game I would put in S tier on a video game tier list. Animal Crossing New Leaf. You'd think New Horizons would be better, but looking back, this one was. New Horizons. It's still enjoyable. Animal Crossing Wild World. It's Animal Crossing, so of course it's good, but I would personally pick any newer one today, though. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Sometimes I just want to play it again, even though I haven't played it in a really long time. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I almost want to say that Scott the Waz treated it too harshly, but yeah, it should have been an actual Animal Crossing game. Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I wrote an essay about it in 5th grade saying how excited I was to get it for Christmas and that I would play it for years. I only played it for a month. Five Nights at Freddy's. Honestly, the merch, theories, and fan music was 100 times better than the whole series, but that's enough to pretend you love the game. FNAF 2, probably the best of the early FNAF games. FNAF 3, every jump scare in this game is you just getting breathed on by a ghost so it's not as frightening as the others, for those who aren't seeking too high of a fear factor. FNAF 4, probably the best FNAF game for those seeking high fear factor. FNAF Sister Location, just don't play it on mobile. FNAF Pizzeria Simulator, the actual pizzeria simulator portion of the game is the real reason to play it. Smash Ultimate, enjoy it every now and then, just don't get too into it or you might fall in place of League of Legends players. Smash 3DS, Apparently, it's one of my most played 3DS games, but I'm pretty sure the system glitched and it didn't count the playtime correctly because I don't remember playing it that much. But if it is right, then I guess it's good. Smash Brawl. Smash is fun when you're using a normal controller, but have you tried it with a TV remote? Crossy Road, and also Fruit Ninja, and also Doodle Jump, and also Temple Run. They even have it at Dave & Buster's. Baldi's Basics. It's not the worst thing in existence. Granny. Play Granny if you want to get scared, but only if you're 10 years old. Dumb Ways to Die. The message that this game conveys is the key to world peace. Be safe around trains. 2048. You could probably pretend you slightly enjoy math if you play this. Run. You probably played this to pass time in class at some point, whether you were in elementary school or high school. I've done it in both. Run 2. I'm pretty sure this is the only run game that can't be played anymore, so let's have a moment of silence. Run 3. Better than the first run, even though it freezes once per minute. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Anybody who has any complaints about this game isn't human. This is my favorite Pokemon game. Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you're willing to spend money on DLC that should have been part of the game in the first place, you'll have a much better experience playing this. Pokemon Sun and Moon. I went to an NFL football game once and played Pokemon Sun the whole time, so that says a lot. Pokemon X and Y. Yes, it's easy, but if you're really young, it's fun. Or if you're like me and you don't mind when a game is easy, it's also fun. Pokemon Black and White. The TCG expansion that coincided with these games was what really got me into Pokemon as a franchise back in the day. Funnily enough, I just played this for the first time last year, so I was a decade late. Pokemon Black and White 2. It's better than Black and White, obviously. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It took me 60 hours to beat it, but at least I had the will to do it. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It may have let us down, but at least I beat it in 40 hours less than the original. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. My favorite mainline Pokemon game, given that you don't count Arceus as one. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. 
I probably would have enjoyed it more if I played the Kanto portion of the game. Pokemon Go. This was a thing, and I guess it still is. Pokemon Art Academy. And they tried to say you can't learn from video games. Pokemon Tournament. Probably should have gotten more attention. Pokemon Quest. I'm not sure who came up with this or why, but they did good. Pokemon Rumble World. One of the only free 3DS games that I bothered to download. Pokemon Unite. It'll be fun for like three days. Pokemon Masters. Every important character is in one game. That doesn't mean you'll like it, though. Pixel Gun. Proof that a game that only exists because Minecraft does can actually be good. Mario Party 9. There is one game mode that is actually fun in this game, and here's a hint. It's not the actual party mode. Mario Party Superstars. It would be perfect, but you can't play 2v2, and they excluded Mario Party DS content. Mario Party DS. Because of what I just said, it is the best Mario Party, and is also home to such musical bangers as Kamex Library. Mario Kart 7. I don't remember what this game was like, but my brother said it was good, so it must be. Mario Kart DS. Home to the greatest Mario Kart map and course music in the series. Mario Kart 8. Deluxe. Peak Mario Kart, I guess. Oh, but don't forget about the DLC that should have been there from the start. Mario Kart Tour. If it was October 2019 right now, you'd be bouncing off the walls. Mario Kart Arcade DX. Technically the only immersive Mario Kart game. Super Mario Kart. They can't all be winners. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be advertising. I mean, at least this is where the series started. Mario Tennis Aces. I mean, it's still probably better than real tennis. Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's so many things to do beyond the main game, but that doesn't mean they're interesting. It just means they exist. Zelda, A Link to the Past. At least I tried to play it. Zelda Majora's Mask. Apparently I suck at gaming because this game is supposed to be good, but I stopped after 30 minutes because it was too hard or something like that. Wii Sports. The only way a human can actually enjoy playing golf is by playing Wii Sports. Wii Sports Resort. I only played the disc golf game in this, but at least I can say I've played disc golf before. Speedrunners. You're not even speedrunning anything, so I guess I'll be the one who does the honest advertising. Donkey Kong Country. This is on the same console as Super Mario World. Compare graphics and tell me which one looks more enjoyable. Donkey Kong Country 2. At least Donkey Kong is there for a little bit. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Peak OST among many Nintendo games. Brawl Stars. I can't be the only person who likes it more than Clash Royale. Clash Royale. It was a nice pastime for a little bit. Clash of Clans. I feel like this is the only game that has the same effect as Minecraft. I randomly come back to it for no reason at random intervals. Bloons. You probably don't know what this is, but it started the Bloons Tower Defense series, and that says a lot. Bloons Tower Defense 5. Great, yet simple art style, but just play the sixth one instead. Bloons Tower Defense 6. Seeing this series move to 3D was a lot smoother than something else we all know about. Bloons Tower Defense Battles. It's Bloons Tower Defense for people who want real action, but that's not me. Rider. Good work by Ketchup, but you should check out their earlier games. Roblox, or as I like to call it, only natural disaster survival. Stardew Valley. I spent money to buy this game because I wanted to marry Haley. Trivia Crack. Better than Trivial Pursuit. Trivia Crack 2. Also better than Trivial Pursuit, except I think this one has more ads. SpongeBob Boating Bash. THQ loves making really obscure but good games. Pocket Tanks. Too bad my iPad doesn't fit in my pocket. Territory War. This is more intense than any action movie you've ever seen. Aerox. I've been seeing a garbage mobile game ad recently for a game that looks exactly like Aerox, so I imagine the game did something right. Flow. 
apply what I just said about Aerox to Flow. Fluidity, the only WiiWare I ever downloaded. Survival Craft, and also Survival Craft 2. The best Minecraft clone. Probably. Kid Icarus, I like to think I wasn't supposed to know what was going on the entire time. Geometry Dash, just apply what I said about Celeste earlier to this. Papa's Pizzeria, and all of the Papa's games. I'll never understand why we played this as kids, but I won't complain either. Rotate and Roll. I called this my favorite game of all time when I was in kindergarten. Flappy Bird. At least Smosh made a good video out of it. Agario. I got my cat to play this once, so it's cat approved. Slither.io. Better than Agario. Happy Wheels. Why does this game actually make me happy? Rocket League. It's fun, and now it's free to play. I bought it for $40. Angry Birds. I can't remember what the original was like, but it's a classic. Angry Birds 2. I've gotten to a point in the game where I'm convinced that it's pay to win, but everything before that was good. Angry Birds Rio. The greatest crossover of all time. Angry Birds Seasons. I remember it being very good, but I think you have to beat the new levels now to play the original levels these days. So I'm not sure why they did that, but it was fun back in the day. Bad Piggies. Definitely better than the series it's a spin-off of. Electric Man 2. I've never felt this epic playing a Flash game. Sticky Ninja Academy. The best Flash game ever played, except you can't play it anymore. Drive Ahead. I used to love this game, then they randomly deleted my account during an update a few years ago, but at least if you start now, you'll have fun because your account won't be deleted. Probably. Namco Museum Mega Mix. Some of the game modes are so fun in this game that I never actually played any of the original arcade games in it. Kick the Buddy. If you have a time machine, go back in time and enjoy this game before they added ads to it. Beat the Boss. Not as good as Kick the Buddy, but I think there's less ads. Scribblenauts Remix, or whatever that mobile one is. I really don't know why I enjoyed playing this, but I guess I did. Scribblenauts Unmasked. There's third-party characters in this one, so that's cool. Snail Bob, probably my least favorite of all those classic Flash and cool math game games, but it's still a classic. Hill Climb Racing, the only game about climbing that's better than this is Celeste. Catch the Candy or IQ Ball. It was cute. Little Alchemy 1 and Little Alchemy 2. Aimlessly swiping your thumb across the screen is fun. Rock Band 3. At least there was a good music choice. Jetpack Joyride. An old friend of mine was late to school one time in second grade because he was playing this, so it must be good. Powder Game. There is powder, and it is a game. Blue Kid. One of very few mobile games that is enjoyable. Blue Kid 2. I didn't like it as much as I wanted to, but it was a well-designed platformer for mobile. Zoo Resort 3D. Why go to the zoo in real life? World of Zoo. This game might have my favorite art style among all games. Also, it has some music that is certainly in my list of favorite video game music. Tomodachi Life. More proof that any fictional life is either better or more interesting than the one we live in. Every Fireboy and Water Girl. It's fun. But trying to decide who will play who brings out the same demons in a man that getting hit by a blue shell in Mario Kart does. Pets Nursery 2. This is probably the reason why my original dream when I was a child was to take care of animals. Any Moto X3M game. That one cool math games game that you play when you don't feel like playing any others. Smashy Road Wanted. It's almost GTA. Nintendogs plus Cats. I almost started to like dogs because of this. Epic Battle Simulator 2. I don't know where the first one is, but this one brings out some good fun. Light Bike 2. Again, I don't know where the first one is, but this is also fun. Any Evolution Game. 
It'll give you a reason to change the clock on your device. Egg ink. It was a craze in my school a few years ago. I don't understand why, because I didn't find it too interesting, but many people did. Fire Emblem Heroes. Not bad for a Nintendo mobile game. True Skate. Better than real skateboarding. Monster Crafter. It stole from Minecraft and Pokemon, but that's pretty cool. Super Metroid. I might have enjoyed it if I understood anything, but I didn't. Mario Galaxy. The best game I've ever played. I'm not even sure if I'm telling the truth, but I think I am. Mario Sunshine. <sighs> uh, I guess try it out if you want. Super Mario Bros. If you have a singular hour to spare, then play this classic, because it only takes an hour to beat. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. People say it's worse than Mario Bros. and Mario Bros. 2 because of the difficulty, but if you're like me, you played it on the Switch Online NES catalog, so you were able to rewind every time something went wrong. Super Mario Bros. 2. If you pretend it's not a Mario game, you'll like it more, because it's literally not a Mario game. Super Mario Bros. 3. The only old Mario game that I'd actually say is good. Mario Run. I enjoyed playing one level of it. New Super Mario Bros. The best game to grace the Nintendo DS. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The reason I liked the Wii. Mario 3D All-Stars. It's the only reason I got to play Mario Galaxy. So that's pretty cool. Mario 64. Scarier than most horror games, apparently. Mario 64 DS. This was good enough to make me not even want to try the original. Super Mario World. One of those games where every single thing takes you 100 tries to get used to and beat. Mario Superstar Saga. The best I can do to advertise is to spare you from playing it, because I really didn't like it, and it's the only Mario game I would put in F tier. Mario 35. Gone too soon. Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. When I got this game, I would stay up till 1am playing it on school nights. And it was worth only getting 5 hours of sleep. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Of all things for Mario and Sonic to join together to do, they picked the Olympics. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I only ever played the mini-games, but that was enough to keep me playing. Luigi's Mansion 3. It's probably better than Dark Moon, but I never actually played the main game mode in that, so I don't know. Tasty Planet 1 and Tasty Planet 2. It's like single-player Agario, but a lot better. Don't touch the spikes. It's pretty relaxing. Word Cookies. I broke an old iPad I had once, and the first thing I did was start playing Word Cookies. Freaky Forms Deluxe. If you have the brain of a child or are one, this game won't seem like a joke. Duck Life. It's the same case as any old first game in a series. It's not that good, but it started a good series. Duck Life 2 World Champion. It's honestly no different from the first, but you can wear hats now. Duck Life 3 Evolution. Perfect improvement on the first two. Duck Life 4. The final boss is the easiest part of the game, so don't worry. Duck Life Space. It's pretty much 4 again, but you're in space. Duck Life Treasure Hunt. It's a copy of Jetpack Joyride, so if you like that, then try this. Duck Life Adventure. Duck Life is an actual game now. Star Fox. I mean, at least I got a cool amiibo of one of the characters. Ark Survival Evolved. I don't know what's going on, but staring at dinosaurs is fun. Subway Surfers. Anybody with a phone has had this downloaded before, or at least known someone with it. Turbo Dismount. For some reason, running from the cops in this game is just as thrilling as GTA. GTA 5. I played it one time, and I've never had so much fun being a criminal. I promise I'm not a criminal. Okay. Goat Simulator. I got someone to be my friend by playing this with them. Goat Simulator MMO. The best Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator Waste of Space. Don't worry, it's actually not a waste of space. Goat Simulator Goats. The worst Goat Simulator. 
but it's still good old Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator Payday. I don't know why this one exists, but it's still Goat Simulator, so it's good. Hungry Shark Evolution. I feel like I've said this for every single game now, but you'll have a little bit of fun. Madden Mobile. I hate football, but I liked this for a little bit. Kirby Mass Attack. Similar to Zelda Majora's Mask, Zelda A Link to the Past, Super Metroid, and Star Fox, I stopped playing after a good 30 minutes because I was confused, so play it for yourself. Kirby's Dream Course. Sometimes I think Kirby spin-offs are more random than Mario ones. Kirby's Dreamland 3. It's kind of good, but a little weird too. Kirby's Adventure. I'd be complaining about stuff right now, but what can you expect from an NES game? Kirby's Superstar. Home to Gourmet Race. Super Kirby Clash. If you want to play Smash with own Kirby, then play Smash where everyone chooses Kirby. Or play this. Kirby Squeak Squad. Better than every other Kirby game I've said so far. Kirby Star Allies. Better than every Kirby game I've said so far. <clears throat> oh, I just I just played New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the first time, and it was it was pretty good because it was very similar to the Wii version. Also, I'm playing uh, 3D Land for the first time, and uh, the world is better, but it's still pretty cool.